My name is Jason Flowery. I'm the CEO of 3D Signatures, and we trade on the Toronto Venture Exchange under the symbol DXD. Uh, 3D Signatures is a personalized medicine company, and I look forward to talking today about uh, our new platform and class of biomarkers. The Two of You platform represents a new class of biomarkers. And so it's a platform technology that has been partially validated now across 13 different cancers and Alzheimer's disease. And so for the first time, it allows us to leverage one proprietary algorithm uh, for the benefit of clinicians who are struggling with how to treat patients with a variety of different cancers and Alzheimer's disease. So it removes the subjectivity on how a patient should be treated. And it's a database that continually learns and refines itself, getting stronger and more specific uh, with each test it performs. Our Hodgkin's lymphoma test is a really exciting platform uh, that we communicated a five-step uh, milestone a few months ago. We're making great progress on that. We're on the cusp of now doing the final clinical trial to validate what exactly will be the cutoff value, essentially the threshold for how a clinician will decide how to treat a patient with Hodgkin's lymphoma one way or another. And we expect to complete that trial over the next three to four months and partner that program out in both the U.S. and Canada. For a newly diagnosed patient with Hodgkin's lymphoma, there is no biomarker. There is no test to help a clinician understand how will that patient likely respond to one therapy or another. The TLOHL test will help identify patients that are likely to relapse, and that means they'll fail standard chemotherapy. So with this test performed at the time of diagnosis, a clinician can appropriately identify probably about 20% of the patients that won't respond to standard chemotherapy those patients should be considered for targeted second-line therapies. And that's how we'll benefit patients in personalized medicine. 3D Signatures is heavily invested into developing the TLO PC test. This is a platform of tests for prostate cancer patients, and the progress we're making is quite significant. Uh, we're participating in a multi-centered trial called the PRECISE trial, and we've begun enrolling patients and developing and analyzing their blood based on a liquid biopsy. But essentially, what the TLO PC test does and allows clinicians to do is make a better prediction of how aggressive a particular patient's cancer is from a blood sample. So we don't rely on a needle biopsy into the prostate. We're able to capture what are called circulating tumor cells from a simple blood test. And this test can be repeated time and time again. What we've seen so far is that our approach appears to be at least twice as accurate. So twice as specific in terms of identifying patients who truly have an aggressive form of the disease and a cancer that warrants having the prostate removed. That's been confirmed in a recent trial that we recently conducted and published. Again, Alzheimer's disease is a, a particularly challenging and a fascinating area that 3D Signatures uh, is heavily invested into. We've now conducted two studies and recently published the results of a second confirmatory study where we've been able to use the TLOView platform that we use across all of our disease analysis. In this case, we use what is called a buccal cell, essentially a cheek swab, the cells from the inside of a mouth to confirm what stage of disease does a patient have. And so we're able to accurately predict when we're blinded to which patients have the disease and which patients don't have Alzheimer's disease and, and accurately predict who has a mild, a moderate, and an aggressive form of the disease. So for that reason, this technology is very disruptive and is something that we think will be widely adopted uh, by clinical trials and to help follow patients in the evolution of their disease. That's a major area of focus for us in 2017. Sure, over the course of the next 12 or so months, we are expecting to continue to make great advancements on our Hodgkin's lymphoma test. So we expect to complete our validation trial, begin to partner that test out with a laboratory in the U.S. and potentially Canada as well. In our prostate cancer uh, program, uh, we're expecting to make further gains and validation through the PRECISE trial and potentially also initiate an additional follow-on trial in prostate cancer. Similarly, we're heavily invested and focused on multiple myeloma and lung cancer as other very promising areas for the application of our technology. 
as new classes of drugs become available to treat these diseases, uh, we think the platform, uh, TeleView platform, represents a very strong tool to predict which patients will respond to which therapies and how that personalized approach can be applied to those patients. And lastly, Alzheimer's disease. That's a significant area of focus for us and an area that we would expect to partner with other either major pharma or consortiums that are looking for a cure or some way to really alter the course of Alzheimer's disease and how they can leverage a minimally invasive technology like our TeleView platform. Those are some of the areas that we think will make great strides on through the course of 2017.